Hello guys, welcome. Thank you very much for joining on time, by the way. You're always on time. Hello, teacher. Yes, Hi. Teacher. Hi. Okay, so just give me one second. Just let me look for the presentation. Okay. <clears throat> How was your weekend, guys? How was the weekend? Was it short? Was it long? Was it interesting? Tiring? Tiring, teacher, because I had presentation. Oh, really? Yes. I, I, I play the bass. You what? Play the bass. 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 Say bass. Ah. B A S S. Boss. Boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diwa. <laughs> what about you, Lorena? Lorena. How did you say? Sería with more blood, con mucha sangre. Really? Why? Space. Ah, okay, yes. Um, yeah. I I don't know the name of the piometras in English. The what? Piometra. What is that? What is that even in Spanish? Piometra in Spanish is bueno, cuando las perritas ya el, han tenido perritos, eh, llegan a tener células cancerígenas que pueden llenarles de pus o varios trompas de falopio y útero, uh -huh. lo que se le conoce como la Y o la bifurcación. Entonces, literalmente es que se le oh. llena todo de pus con sangre por dentro. Oh, oh. Y, y a veces eso les explota internamente y causa un caos en las perritas. Eh, de cada 10 quizás se hizo sobreviven cuando pasa eso entonces tuvimos mucho de eso el fin de semana wow but I don't know to explain cómo sería explicar esa explanation verdad explain 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 in in English that's fine least... that's fine uh -huh. no that was sé, actually muy... yeah that was actually very interesting that was actually very interesting. I actually didn't know that. So welcome, yeah. Sarai. Welcome, De Leon. Welcome to another class. Carla, welcome. So um, today's our last class. Uh, tomorrow we are going to have the exam. Then we're going to start with phase i mean pre-intermediate three mm -hmm. and on december 14th we're going to go to vacation uh if anonymity and uh by the way um attendance is going to be taken or you're going to it's going to be considered like if you are you are present or you're present only if you stay until the end of the class if you quit in the middle of the class that is going to be considered as 
absence. Si se salen durante la clase y no terminan hasta el final, se le va a considerar como una inasistencia. Así que para que se considere asistencia, eh, tienen que quedarse en toda la clase. Si solo se conectan un ratito y después se desconectan, es inasistencia. Ok, so. Being that said. So, let's start with this little activity. Oh, wait, because I think that I forgot the link. And I don't see you. Sorry. Give me one second. Because I forgot the... Uh, yeah, I forgot it. Just give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Okay, so just give me one second. Just let me share the screen. Um, do you guys remember the topic? Actually, it was the first topic of pre-intermediate one, which was introducing yourselves. So today we're going to do the same because I want you to practice speaking. So this is actually a good way to uh, to practice speaking because if I'm mistaken, at the end of this course, you're going to have job interviews. So I really want you to handle this topic very well. So. This is something called casual introduction questions and answer. Answers, it says, try to ask and answer the questions. Uh, click the boxes to see a sample response and again to return to the question. So we had the first question, which is, what's your name? So this is actually very easy. So as you can see, we have different questions. So I'm gonna ask you, each of you, one of these questions. So the first question goes to Diego. Uh, what is your name? Hey, my name is Diego. <laughs> um, let's see, what do you do? Que yo mismo. <laughs> oh, yes, you, <laughs> you, what do you do, Diego? Um, soy cumbiero ahorita. No sé cómo decirlo bien. <laughs> no, really, tell me, what do you do? Eh, um, how, no can we answer, how can we answer this question? Who knows? Guys, how can we answer this question? What do you do? If I ask you, hey, what do you do? How would you answer this question? Um, I am in the nervous system. Excellent. Very good. So also we have an example here. I am a student. So Diego, what do you do? Um, I am cumbiero. <laughs> okay. Diego, where do you live? Uh, in La Unión. <laughs> I live in La Unión. <laughs> Very good. What are your hobbies? My hobbies is... Are? Are um, listen 
su cumbia. Ajá. <ríe> um, um, dancing cumbia. <ríe> Very good. So, in this case, when we answer this question, we can do like this. My, my hobbies are. My so hobbies are. Okay, we, need okay. to, we need to use gerunds. For example, my hobbies are reading books, going to the gym, uh, playing soccer. So I'm using ing. So I'm using ing. So in this case, you can say listening to cumbia, dancing cumbia, and so on. <laughs> I get my teacher. I get my. Ya tu. Okay, let's see. Um, De Leon. Let's see. Um, where are you from? Mm, I am from Guatemala. Do you have a, you, do you have a pet? Mm, no, nope, I don't have a pet. What do you do? I'm a student. Uh, do you have any brothers? Yes, I have one brother. Very good. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Malacatán, San Marcos, Guatemala. Uh, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are watching movies and listening to music. Listening to music. Okay. Very good. Carla Hernandez, what do you do? Yes, teacher, I'm a student. Where do you live? I live in San Salvador, El Salvador. Do you have a pet? Yes, I have 21 pets. 21 cats, really? Wow. Well, well. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. What are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies are reading, listen, listen to, listen, listen, <laughs> listening, to... listening to music, um, getting to new places, no new places. Very good. Excellent. No in new places. Sarai Ventura. Yes. What do you do? I am a student. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. Where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. Uh, do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog. Her, his name is Lucky. Excellent. What are your hobbies? Uh, my hobbies are playing piano and listening to music. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Gita Magaña, what do you do? I'm a designer. Do you have a pet? Yes, I have two pets. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Santa Tecla. Where do you live? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, where are you from? Santa Tecla. Sorry, Santa yeah. Tecla. Uh, okay. Uh, what are your hobbies? Uh, well, I have two, two hobbies. Uh, first, I like to walk with my pets, or with my dogs. And the other one, um, I, like I like to listen to music. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Lorena. Yes, teacher. What do you do? I don't know, teacher. I am. Mm. No, warehouse, no. But I am housekeeper. Okay, very good. Where are you from? I'm from in El Salvador. Repeat. I from in El Salvador. Don't say in. I am from El Salvador. Why? No se puede I'm? Yeah, actually, yes. But you are saying I am from in El Salvador. Uh, so, in. Okay. I no, am diga, from no diga in. Ajá. ¿Cómo lo digo o no lo digo? No lo diga, no lo diga, perdón. <laughs> I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Excellent. Aquí no ocupamos la preposition in because we are using the preposition from. Entonces no decimos I am from in El Salvador, sino que solo decimos I am from 
El Salvador. Okay. But what happens if I ask you this question? Where do you live? I live in Santana with my mother and my little brothers. Excellent. Very good. What are your hobbies? Mm, my hobbies are. <laughs> Um, my hobbies are um, watching Asian dramas, reading books, um, listening, listening to music, the BTS music, yeah, <laughs> um, también, <laughs> but también folk music, sería mm -hmm. folk Asian music, verdad? Yes. Folk Asian music. Um, I'm gonna stay alone. Really, stay alone. <laughs> Staying alone. Yeah. Okay, very good. Fajardo. Wait, teacher. Where are you from? Yeah. I am from Honduras. Where do you live? Uh, I am uh, live. Don't say uh, I am. I live in. Uh, San Pedro Sula. Very good. Do you have a pet? No, teacher. What do you do? Uh, I am engineer in system. Assistant in engineer. System, system engineer. Yes. Oh, what Damn. are your hobbies? Uh, hobby. Uh, <laughs> play games uh, playing video games no que quiere decir con, con mi hijo with my playing son. video games with my son no juega videojuegos sino que son jueguitos así de cubitos tres <laughs> ajá eso quiere decir play with my son um, okay. um, play that bus así sería verdad eh, o cómo sería ejecutar, ejecutar, execute. Execute what? El bajo, es el instrumento. O sea, como play the guitar. Play ah, the, the drums. Okay. No, drums. I guess. No, no, actually, no, it is not the drum. Sorry. It's like, uh, I don't know. I actually have forgotten how to say bajo. Porque me lo discrimina. Todo el mundo dice, qué bonito toca la guitarra. La guitarra es bajo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But that's okay. Thank you. Es bajo. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Pajardo. Uh, okay. So right now we're going to be talking about this. You will see. imperatives but guys pay attention to this topic because you may get confused and i don't want you to get confused okay so um help me with this slide please de leon okay teacher imperatives are used to give an order a uh, command instructions a warning advice and make requests okay so let's pay attention imperatives are used to give an order a command instructions a warning advice and make requests okay so keep this in mind now let's pay attention to the structure that we use help me please diego uh, base form bear must complement positive. Mm -hmm. Pay attention, attention. Listen, please. Give me an example. Excellent. So these are imperatives or phrases in positive. So as you can see, we only need the base form verb and the complement. What is missing here, guys? What is missing? Mm. Mm. El pronombre, teacher? Mm. El I, he, she. So how do you call that? Yeah, actually, those are pronouns. 
But how do you call those? How do you call the person who, who performed the action? Third person or third person? No. How no. do you call in grammar? Uh, do you remember the structure of simple present, uh, simple past, that we always need a what? I told you guys, in English, we always need a... Lo que no se puede omitir? The subject. The subject, perfect. So, uh, as you can see, we don't have subject here. Yes, yes, yes. So, we don't have subject. So, we only have the base form verb and the complement. Okay. So we have pay attention. We don't have the subject. Listen, no subject. Give me an example. This me is not a subject. This is an object. Okay. So we also have negative imperatives. For example, uh, help me with the structure, De Leon. Don't, do not. Base form verb complement negative. Don't do that. Don't cross the street when the traffic light is going. Don't smoke here. Excellent. We have don't do that. Don't cross the street when the traffic light is green. Don't smoke here. So I don't have any subject, but we always use don't. Okay. So whenever you want to give an order, a common instructions, warning, advice, or make nice. a request. So you don't use a subject and we always use don't. So for example, if I say, uh, Diego, let's see, mm -hmm. be quiet. So Diego in this case is not the subject, but I'm giving him an order, and I'm using imperatives. Be quiet. So it'll be something like this. Diego, comma, be quiet. Oh. So this is not, this is not a sentence, okay? This is not even a clause. This is just an expression. Diego, comma, be quiet. I don't have any subject here. I only have my base form verb, and my compliment, which is quiet. Be quiet because this is an order. What happens if I want to use or I want to say a comment? For example, I can I can say, guys, stand up. Stand. Hey guys, stand up. That is a comment. It's not an order. It is just a comment. Stand up. Instructions. Can you give an example of an instruction without a subject as an imperative? ¿Cómo me dieron un, una instrucción como un imperativo? Oh, Así, uh, 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 Como go to your room? No. The, actually, that is another. Go to your room. Go to room. your room? Okay, okay. Eh, sería eh, read the rules. Okay, very good. Read the rules. Eh, Lorena, I don't understand. Eh, vaya, los imperativos se ocupan más que todo cuando nosotros damos órdenes, cuando damos comandos. Eh, damos instrucciones, warning, damos Avis. consejos uh -huh. y damos uh -huh. eh, requests. Requests. Uh, okay. For example, like in Spanish, when we say, um, eh, cerra la puerta. Cerra la puerta. Oh, uh -huh. So, for example, you're talking, you're, 
Comando es, por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo a usted que haga algo, pero no como una forma de orden. Como, por ejemplo, eh, Lorena, eh, ¿cómo hace su comida? Eh, sirva los platos. Eh, abra la puerta. Eh, párese, siéntese. Eso es un comando, pero no es una orden. Mm -hmm. So, in that case, we know who we are talking to. Uh, so, that's the reason that it's irrelevant to to mention like the subject. So for example, if I want to tell my brother, if I'm, if I'm speaking to my, to, to my brother, supongamos que yo estoy hablando con mi, con mi hermano y yo quiero que él abra la puerta. Yo no le voy a decir, eh, tú eh, abre la puerta. So actually that doesn't sound good. So in this case, it is going to be like a command. Como por ejemplo, hey, abre la puerta. Uh -huh. Hey, abre la puerta. So my brother knows I'm talking to him, okay? Because we are having a conversation, because I'm watching him, okay? I'm looking at him. Yo lo estoy viendo a él. Él me está viendo a mí y sabe que yo lo estoy hablando a él. Entonces, uh, hey, open the door. Hey, close the door, please. Or for example, when you want to talk to your, to, your, to your pets, por ejemplo, ustedes quieren hablar con sus mascotas y ustedes le dicen, vení. Sentate, o oh. subite a la mesa, o subite, perdón, subite a la cama, <risa> subite a la cama, entonces esos son órdenes que nosotros le damos a los animales, o también son comandos. So, for example, when you say, hey, sit, sit down. Esa es una orden, sit down. ¿A quién estamos hablando? Al perro. Entonces, eso es un imperative, ¿ok? Cuando usamos expressions or phrases, para dar una orden, una instrucción, una warning. For example, let's suppose that we are crossing the street and a bus is coming and you're crossing and I tell you, watch out. Or for example, hey, tené cuidado, tené cuidado. Entonces la persona con la que yo voy sabe de que yo le estoy hablando a él o a ella y le estoy diciendo, tené cuidado. Entonces in this case, I am giving a warning. Hey, watch out. Sí, yo les digo que se suban a la mesa cuando ando. De... <laughs> so in that case, that is a common, that is an order. Instructions, as Fajardo said, uh, follow the rules, read the rules, read the instructions, um, scroll down, open your computer, and advice. Uh, we will see that later. So those are imperatives. So for example, Don't smoke here. So, for example, you are at a hospital and a nurse approaches you and the nurse tells you, don't smoke here. Hey, no fumes aquí. So, you know the person is talking to you. So, don't smoke here. Don't go out. Don't speak too loud. Entonces eso, o por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, hey guys, pay attention, please. Ese es un comando. También puede ser una orden, because right now I am the authority. Yo soy la autoridad. Entonces sería un comando o una orden. Ok, so oh, hey guys, gee. pay attention. Listen, guys. Eh, be quiet, guys. Bueno, yo nunca, yo nunca uso eso de be quiet. <laughs> Or, for example, eh, give me an example. Eh, tell me. So those are common. Or those are imperatives veamos más so we have more examples oh. let's see the door is open the dog will go out so let's suppose this is just an, an scenario esto es un escenario the door is open and the dog, the dog will go out you should close the door I'm using a model here. Yo estoy usando un modal. Pero ¿qué pasa si yo no quiero decir esto? You should close the door. Because this is not an, uh, uh, like, hacelo o no lo hagas. Supongamos que esto es una orden o un comando. Mm -hmm. So, for example, my brother left the door open and my dog may go out. So I tell my brother, hey, close the door. Hey, cerra la puerta. No le voy a decir, hey, debería cerrar la puerta. No. Yo le estoy diciendo, hey, cerrar la puerta. Hey, close the door. 
turn the light off, uh, turn the TV off, for example. Entonces, those are imperative. The person knows I'm talking to him or her, so that is the reason that we don't have to use the subject. Okay? Do you have any questions? Yeah. No. Lorena. Sure. No? No. I'll okay. Clear. Okay. We have more examples. Help me with the first one, Gita Magaña. Um, I can hear you. I can hear you. Speak louder, please. Excellent. Hey, I can hear you. Speak louder, please. So this is my comment. Help me with the second one, Carla Guerra. I don't want the police officer to pull me over. As low as this did. Very good. So I don't want the police officer to pull me over. To pull me over in this case means que me pare. Yo quiero que me pare la policía. So slow the speed. That's my comment. Fajardo, help me with this one. The students are doing too much noise. Be quiet. Excellent. The students are doing too much noise. Hey guys, be quiet, please. Help me with this one, please. Carla Hernandez. He is eating too much. Don't eat too much. Excellent. So, for example, your mom tells you, hey, don't eat too much. You're going to get sick. Don't eat too much. So, this is the comment. Uh, help me with the last one, please. Lorena. I don't want to be run over. Lock mm -hmm. both sides before crossing the strip. Excellent. I don't want to be run over means no quiero ser atropellado. Entonces, look, bo look both sides before crossing the street. Mira ambos lados antes de cruzar la calle. So this is an advice. I'm sorry, this is a, a piece of a piece of advice, sorry. So we have... ¿Cómo? Sí, oh, I want to be run over. correr encima? No, literal. No, no. In this case, this is a phrase solver that is being used as an adjective. Es un phrasal verb que se está siendo usado como un adjetivo. Uh -huh. Because okay. I have be here. So I don't want to be run over. No quiero ser atropellado. Okay, run over. So I have like 30 imperative sentences here. So for example, we have the first one. Uh, please grant me a loan. Uh, don't forget, shut the window, will you? you have a Coke and a smile, never forget the person who values you, don't forget to brush your teeth after eating, stay amazing, don't drive fast, miss me yes. when we are pottered, drive slowly, don't sit there, catch it. <laughs> Turn left as a uh, a dying in, 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 in intersection. intersection. Mm -hmm. Play with intensity and courage, and we have so many of them. So be quiet, sir. Teach him. Don't go, please, and so on. So, teacher. Uh huh. How do you read the number fifty? This one. Uh, yes. Do not use drugs after vaccination. Vas vaccination. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. It is no vacation. It is vaccination. Sí, yeah, open, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's continue. We also have let's, which is considered part of the imperative uh, topic. So in this case, if you want to be like part of the imperative, 
we use let's. So let's see how we have these sentences in by using commands and how they will change when we use imperatives. For example, we have this one. Diego, help me. We should go to eat some pizza. Imperative? Let's eat some pizza. Excellent. So for example, eh, deberíamos ir a comer algo de pizza. Yo soy parte de la conversación because I'm going with my friends. Okay, porque yo voy a ir con mis amigos. Pero yo no quiero decir we should go to eat some pizza. Instead, ya puedo decir, hey, bicho, vamos a comer pizza. Like, like we say in Spanish, vamos. Oh. Entonces yo me estoy uniendo a la conversation. Okay, so because I'm joining myself uh, to the conversation, I will use let's. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's eat some pizza. Entonces, yo soy parte del, 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 del imperative right now. What about the second one? Help me, please, Sarai. We shall go to the park. Let's, let's go to the park. Excellent. We should go to the park. Hey, guys, let's go to the park. Eh, Fajardo. We should play soccer. Let's play soccer. Excellent. So... It actually sounds better this way. Hey, let's go to, to the park. Hey guys, let's play soccer. Hey guys, soccer. let's do this activity. So, yo me estoy uniendo a la conversation. Yo me estoy uniendo a la, um, a la forma imperativa. Ah, quisiera estar en El Salvador. Yo quisiera estar en Europa. <laughs> Oh, claro, teacher, si querer estar, me gustaría estar en Inglaterra. No. <laughs> okay. Tampoco. You. <laughs> Where would you like to, to, to be, guys, right now? <laughs> I would like to be, actually, not in Europe, but I would like to be in Egypt. Me gustaría estar en Egipto. Ahorita mismo. What about you guys? In Qatar. Qatar. Lorena? Mm. Los Estados Unidos? No. No, no, no. no. Eh. Um, no voy a salir diciendo en ningún lado. Yo amo mi país. Epa. No, no. Yes. Bueno, yo sí, Eva, yo valí madres en Guatemala y desde la comida yo me enfermaba y toda la onda, o sea, a partir de eso, yo sí amo el país, yo sí amo El Salvador en ese aspecto, en el aspecto de la comida, en el aspecto del clima, but quizás por lo laboral me gustaría estar en Canadá o en Australia. Ok, that's a very good Pero choice. For the, for the money, ¿no? Pero en lo demás, my country, obviously. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have this. It's called Carla Guerra. It's called close the window or open the window. Close the window. I'm very hungry. Carla Hernandez. Let her be the soup, please. Good. It's so late. I want to sleep. Quita Magaña. Um, go to the bed. Very good. Go to bed. Is this movie good, The Leon? No, it is, and don't watch it. Okay, very good. I don't hear you, Lorena. I speak loudly, please. 
Very good. Oh, I forgot my money. Diego. Ah. Uh... ¿Cuál? Ay, ay, o sea, ¿olvidó su dinero? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh. ¿Sí? O la, la... Don't worry. La. la. Ok. Very good. <laughs> Adivinando, pero very good. Sí. It's cold outside, Fajardo. <laughs> it's cold outside. Okay, don't say your head. Don't forget your head. Hat. Don't the beat. Don't don't forget your hat. Very good. Very good, guys. Let's continue. Oh, so actually that was the last activity. Um, do you have any questions about this? About the platform? Uh, of the platform, the of the book three of the see sí, libro three, book three, los audios teacher. Ah, uh, no yes. Arreglarlos. Yeah. Libro tres. Uh, this one, right? Pre-intermediate three. Sí, yeah. Ya está en el intermedio tres. Voy por el, como por el 70% o 75% del oh, tres. Ya. Yo apenas terminé hoy el dos. Uh, ah, sí, teacher. <laughs> Let me Pero see. Es que hay, hay varios audios, teacher, que no están. Ah, hay un ejercicio en el que está repetido que dice queer y no importa cuál escoja usted si él solamente puede obtener el 75% del, del total y por lo tanto como se tiene que pasar con 80 pues se reprueba ese ejercicio eh, which one Espérenme, déjeme buscar ya les... no 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 pere esto es hacker run. <laughs> Va intermedio 3. Uh, voy a tomar esta. Vaya, intermedio 3. Creo que esta es la primera. Es uh, the exercise 1.1.7. There is there are listening. Okay. Es el uno un cómo sería uno punto uno punto siete. Ahí está malo el audio es el primero. No creo que este lo. Let me check mm. if we have it here. Uh, pues creo que es este. uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Es en el 2, creo yo, 2.2.5. Uh -huh. eh, en la parte número 2 se repite donde dice ma'am, dos puntos, you. Ahí tendría que decir you are, ¿no? O algo así. Pero solo aparece you were, you were. Entonces solamente se logra llegar al 75% donde dice your score is 75% y pues se reprueba. Ok. Teacher, dale el código a la página, lo haré para que lo diseñe, teacher. Es que la calle. The fire. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, actually, it's, you're talking about this one. Yeah, actually, it is not available. So. El otro, teacher, el otro se lo pasaría después, el otro audio. Teacher, you, you, do not, you do not have permission. <laughs> yeah, I don't have permission either. So, okay, so in this case, um, I will do the following. Eh, para los que tienen problemas así como, como, como tiene Lorena, eh, díganme y lo que yo hago normalmente es esto. Ya van a ver lo que yo hago. I have users here. So I have 
Silva eh, Garay. I have this person. Wait, where are you? Ah, yeah, Silva Garay. So, for example, we have this one. Places in town sentences. What I do is the following. I can mark it as complete here. And as you can see, we have the check mark. Sentence and scramble. Complete. Huh? Conversation ¿Qué lista. Qué esa, esa, complete. El teacher tiene la solución para los que no lo han hecho. Yeah. Yo creo que se me completó una, teacher, que me quedaron todas en blanco. Sí, pero no se hace porque fue que se me suspendió la computadora y quedó abierta la pestaña. ¿Really? Sí, teacher. Me salen uno, todas las respuestas y me salen complete todas. Y yo, oh, what the fuck, me dieron 100 puntos. Really? No, actually, this is only if you have issues. So, for example, uh, you told me that you had issues with one exercise. Um, it was about do neither either that one because you were having like a lot of problems trying to pass that one, so you couldn't complete the the, the rest of the exercises. Um, that's the reason that I marked it as complete. Eh, cuando tengan problemas así de que, por ejemplo, eh, tienen un eh, están haciendo un ejercicio o algo y no les deja pasar. Eh, Obviamente porque tienen dificultad y, 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 y les cuesta bastante. Ahí solo así les marco como, se los marco como complete, como completado. Para que puedan hacer los demás y no se vayan atrasando. Vamos a ver cuántos, cuántos han avanzado. Because ya mañana tenemos el examen. Ya todos tienen que haber por lo menos avanzado en esto. Ahorita vamos a exponer, exponiendo infieles. Oh my God. By Hector de Leon, very good. Elias Moreno, no. Fajardo, very good. Uh, the teacher, four percent. Carla Guerra, only fifty-seven percent. Hernandez, ninety-seven, very good. Gita Magaña, twenty-nine percent. Uh, Rodriguez Martinez, I don't know. Diego, yeah, Diego. Yes. Very yes. good. Eh, Vega González, eh, Portillo, 99%, Velázquez. ¿Dónde estoy yo, Ticha? Aquí está eh, Luis Fajardo Mendoza, 99%. Usted dijo que no completáramos el último, Ticha. Yo soy obediente. No, that's fine, that's fine. Eh, solo de León, que tiene el 94%. Eh, Guita que tiene el 29% lo tiene que terminar para mañana Hector mira León me pone lo de León gracioso mm, pero no gracioso de risa gracioso de raro mire pues aquí tiene organizing and conversation listening complete porque tiene problemas con los, con los audios health listening complete and that's it, 99%, you will see. Uh, De Leon, 97%. Quizás falló en una o quizás le falta. Equivocó, teacher. Se debe haber equivocado, De Leon. Ajá. Okay, guys, but do you have any other questions? Any other questions? Teacher, repeat uh -huh. in on at. Ah? Se puede repetir in on at. ¿Quién está hablando? <laughs> Yo, teacher. De León. Ay, es que... In on at. Es que de León habla igual que Diego, perdón. Sorry. Perdón. No, teacher, hablan distinto. No, actually, they speak the same. No, teacher, claro que distinto. no, de León tiene voz un poco más suave. Y Diego tiene como voz tipo sensualona de locutor de madrugada. Hable, Diego. 
Hable, Diego. <risa> hable, Diego, le dice. <risa> no. Diego, hable. Me da pena, profe, no. De León, hable. Ahí anda. Yo lo escucho igual, perdón. Ok, so we have prepositions. Prepositions in, on, at. Teacher, hay un tema que me cae mal y no lo entendí, teacher. Espéreme, ya lo vamos a ver. Pucha, teacher, como me va. Espere. Ok, so, de León. So, we have a preposition of time and prepositions of location. So, let's pay attention to this one. We use in when we talk about years, months, weeks, seasons. So, for example, in 2018, in el 2018, in 2018, in May, in April, in two weeks. Hey, I will see you in two weeks, in winter seasons, in fall, in spring, in summer. Um, location, for example, country. I am, I, I live in El Salvador. I live in San Salvador. I live in San Jacinto. I live in, how do you call this? I don't know, my neighborhood. I live in, aha, uh -huh, but for example, I live in El Tejar, for example. That's the, the name of my neighborhood. I live in a house. I live in a house, inside, in the building, or in an apartment. I live in an apartment. On, cada vez que la palabra tenga days, we are going to use on. On holidays, on Monday, on Wednesday. On my birthday, on Thanksgiving Day, and so on. Date on October the 20th, and whatever. On the street or on a surface. So, for example, on the floor, on the stage, on the table, on the bed as well. En una superficie, que no está dentro de algo, sino que está sobre algo. At, when we are using clock time. At 9 a.m., at 9 p.m., at noon, at night, at midnight, at night, and so on. Ah, in también se puede ocupar cuando, when we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero solo usamos at cuando es at night. Y son horas exactas, at noon, al mediodía, at midnight, en la medianoche. Address, I live at, bla, 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 bla. Specific locations, I am at my house, I am at school, I am at the mall, I am at, I don't know, at the park, for example. Cuando estamos dando una specific location de donde nosotros estamos, el punto exacto en el que nosotros estamos. And we have three major exceptions. In, in the car, in the truck. Esto es porque nosotros no nos podemos mover, no podemos caminar en un carro ni en un, ni en un truck. Pero ¿qué pasa cuando usamos on? Why do we say on, I don't know, on the train, on the bus, on, on the aircraft or airplane? Porque hay corredores donde nosotros podemos caminar. Donde se pueda caminar en un medio de transporte, we use on. Media, in movies, in series, in books, in articles. Ah, I read that in a book, in an article. I saw that person in a movie, in a series. Pero ¿qué pasa cuando estamos hablando de cosas tecnológicas? For example, la televisión, on TV. Ah, my sister is speaking on the radio. She appears on TV. I'm, I am on the computer. I am on the computer. 
on internet. Hey, I saw you on internet. And this one is very special, sitting in chairs, en las sillas, pero también se puede usar on the chairs, on the sofa or benches. I am on the sofa. I'm going to sit on that bench. Me voy a, sent me voy a sentar en esa banca. I'm sitting down on the sofa right now. Estoy sentado en el sofá ahorita mismo. At the table. Hey, hey, my sister is at that table. En esa, en esa, en esa mesa. At that table. Pero si, si nosotros queremos poner algo sobre la mesa, we use on. Hey, I'm going to put the plates on the table. On. Mi hermana está sentada at the table. At the first table. En la primera mesa. Entonces, tomen la foto a esto because this is really going to help you guys. This. Y, y también les quisiera enseñar eh, qué preposiciones usar después de verbos y después de adjetivos. Ok, en Fajardo, yes, tell me. ¿Cuál tema me dijo que, que was hard for you? I am a bit of... Really? No, este, comparative and superlative. ¿Y por qué le cuesta ese? Nada, es horrible, teacher. Ok, ese es el más fácil de todo, ya va a ver. Me confunde porque en algunas era the, the more, por ejemplo, more expensive. También habían unas palabras que eran, que llevaban more al inicio, como colorful, también medio me acuerdo. Vaya, yo les dije de que cuando el adjetivo era pequeño, hasta, les, hasta con aplauso le enseñé short, short. Estaba tratando de acordar ajá, sobre eso, pero no me acordaba el momento de que estaba haciendo las preguntas y yo, ¿cómo es que era? ¿Qué decía el oh. teacher? Vaya, short, era short. Aplaudimos una vez porque solo tiene una sílaba, entonces es considerado short adjective. Entonces ahí se le va, se le va a agregar la ER al final, shorter. Y si es largo, por ejemplo, si tiene más de, dos, más de dos o tres sílabas, como por ejemplo, beautiful, beautiful, aplaudimos solo tres veces, entonces tiene tres sílabas. Entonces no decimos beautiful, decimos more beautiful. Por ejemplo, cuando tenemos dos, estamos comparando dos cosas. Y aquí lo tenemos, mire. Comparatives comparing only two things. Add the suffix er to one syllable words like tall. Tall, solo tiene una sílaba porque aplaudimos una vez. Taller. Put more in front of two syllable or uh, two or more syllable words. Popular. Popular. Tiene tres sílabas. Entonces, se le agrega more. More popular. For example, a salad is healthier than a, ha a hamburger. A hamburger is more delicious than a salad. A salad is cheaper than a hamburger. A salad is more convenient than a hamburger. Convenient. Tiene tres sílabas. Por eso se le pone more. Eh, cheap. Solo tiene una sílaba. Por eso se le pone ER. Delicious. Tiene tres sílabas. Por eso se le pone more. Y charming. ¿Cómo? Charming. Charming. Uh -huh. Tiene dos, se le pone more. Yo puse charming, girl, como Charmander. No, es more charming. Me salió mala. Y la misma regla aplicamos cuando estamos usando superlativos. Por ejemplo, milk is the healthiest of the four drinks. Beer is the most dangerous of the four drinks. Y así sucesivamente. Les recomiendo que watch the videos on YouTube. Number questions. Entonces, attendance. 